Good morning, Snickerdoodles. I hope y'all are well. It's been a couple days since I've made a video, and uh, I wanted to respond to some of the questions that I have had. Um, y'all, your dentures shouldn't hurt. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. If, if your dentures are causing you pain, there's a problem. Okay, um, I had one lovely person talking about um, sore spots on their dentures. Now, she said she was three weeks out. Sorry, I don't... They they said they were three weeks out. Um, and they're having sore spots. When I had sore spots and they were really bad, it was literally um, uh, like a... It's not called a bone spur. The sequester is the little bits that come out and that can happen. Um, but sometimes you just heal funny. Like your jawbone heals funny. Um, so I would definitely... Uh, talk to your oral surgeon, I would talk to your denturist, get things adjusted because these should not be hurting. If you're having to use Ambisol, something's wrong. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, horse teeth. Let's talk about that for a minute because that was a big thing that I noticed too and I was freaking out about it. And um, because I had other things going on, like I had to have my bone filed down and stuff like that, um, even though I had the alveoplasty, um, I'm just fabulous enough that my bone he healed like instead of like this, when your gums collapse, it healed like this. So I literally had to go in, they had to reopen f the flap um, and go in and grind down the bone, but it was on the inside, so that was weird. Along my front, um, when I first had my teeth out, um, I had, they had to go in and file it down because it was putting so much pressure on my dentures that I couldn't wear them. Um, when, uh, it's very early in the morning here and I'm going to tell you what I've been doing lately because you'll understand why I look slightly haggard. Um, I need you to remember that it's not just your face on the outside that's swollen. You have had massive trauma inside your mouth. So your gums are still swollen. The roof of your mouth is probably still swollen. Like everything is still just gone through all of this trauma. And when you think about how long a bruise can take to heal, a really bad bruise, um, of which I have many currently, um, <clears throat> you will not notice the swelling inside your mouth, right? So <clears throat> until that swelling goes down, you may kind of feel like you've got horse mouth. Um, it will get better. Um, you know, this is one of those places where you want to kind of get into your denturist. If something is not fitting right, it's too high up, it's doing whatever, they can literally grind all of that down. Okay? So, do not suffer needlessly. We're going through enough right now with our whole faces looking different and our bodies looking different. We can't eat and we can't talk and we're doing all of these things and everything falls into place at some point. It really does. I know I didn't think it would ever get better and I was so sad and I was just crying and miserable and scared. Um, you know, and, and props to this one human that has gone back to work after three weeks. I didn't get out of bed in three weeks. Like, y'all, well done. Celebrate these small things because they're huge. They're really huge, okay? You're amazing. You're amazing. All of you are amazing because we're here and we're talking about it. And I, I love getting questions. I don't know. I will look it up. I will talk to other people. I will, you know, like, there's not a lot of information. Um, questions are great. Someone has asked me to do a eyelash tutorial. Because they're bitch to put on sometimes. I'll get there. Um, why haven't I been here? Well, it started with, we're going to do a little bit of work in the garden. With my very wonderful girlfriend, Kim. And so we started the garden and then she was like, oh, we should clean up this whole area behind the shed and we can put a tarp up and it'll be great. And then the sweet, sweet woman looked in my living room and she just went, <laughs> so we got to the living room and we looked at the kitchen and thought we need to get the kitchen. And then we went upstairs and so yesterday I gutted my son's room. Um, who is 13, 
I, I had my husband go and take all the stuff out because I was like, I don't want to interrupt the boy vibe. I, I don't know. I don't know. I just felt like I understand my son, so I kind of <clears throat> did the things I knew would make him more comfortable. But there's a lot of stuff I took out of his room. He's going through all of it. It's fine. Um, it's all in bins for them to sort. But holy Christmas, so much crap. Like just accumulated so much crap so if you're feeling stressed y'all chuck some stuff in a bin go through it like I, no. I have a little thing for books by a little thing I mean a big one and more bookshelves are needed I'm not upset I'm not even mad I need more bookshelves. Anyway, that's why I haven't been around. I've been busting it. We started last week. We should be finished tomorrow. So I'm tired and I need to have a garage sale. I have cool stuff. I just have a lot of cool stuff. Anyway, you were amazing. You're amazing. I'm nine months in and I just gutted an entire house think about that right if you watch some of my earlier videos I was crying I was well almost crying and frustrated and it took a long time you know it it did and I'm not gonna lie everyone heals at their own pace I need you to remember when you're watching my videos personally I have type 1 diabetes I do not heal as fast as y'all do um, big big one was rinsing with salt water and this is something we should all be doing this is something we should just do every day because it heals it's antibacterial it just helps um, my oral surgeon was like just rinse with salt water twice a day if you were just a couple weeks out of surgery um, I'm gonna sip and I'll show you what I did so when I was rinsing with salt water mm -hmm. And spade don't swallow but it had to be super gentle and so I would have my dentures out I would do the little swish I would spit I'd clean my tongue I'd clean the roof of my mouth I'd scrub my dentures you know because you gotta you gotta keep it clean you gotta take a multivitamin you got to do all of this stuff to promote healing right now and it's a lot to think about because you're already like um, a leave a fix is the greatest thing I've ever used. Um, I have been eating. I had a salad yesterday, like not a like a crunchy salad. Um, but I ate a freaking salad, y'all, and veggies, and I still can't bite into anything. But uh, you know, it's getting a lot better, and and I'm now at a place where I don't notice that I'm able to eat, which is incredible, right? Um. God, what did I eat last week? So the Oliva Fix is like water activated, which is kind of cool. Um, you actually put it on wet dentures. Um, you put it on, you make sure your mouth is wet, and then you put it in. Holy crap, donkey. It stays in all day. Like, I literally have to pull my dentures out at night from my uppers. My lowers will last <clears throat> now probably from like 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. Um, you know, they tend to come out around dinner. Um, like just, it's been towards the end of dinner now, um, but I ate steak the other day. I'm sorry if you're vegan or vegetarian and that's offensive, but I'm not. Um, anyway, this stuff is amazing. Buy it, I use so little. I feel like this tube is going to last me about two months, which to me makes more financial sense if you can't swing it all in once check out the different sizes um, because you might be able to order a smaller tube um, I get sometimes 20 bucks is a lot of money 25 bucks can be a lot of money right now you know post-covid everything um, if you can I highly recommend it in conjunction with some cushion grip 
chef's kiss of fabulousness. Anyway, I've been babbling for 10 minutes. <laughs> um, if you're still here, thank you. If you... Obviously, I can say thank you if you're still here because you're still here. I'm very tired and require much more coffee. Now I'm going to go fold my linen closet. Schmuzzle tov! Talk soon, snickerdoodles.